Good morning. I wrap Stein up Linden Associates with your morning flash update for this Monday, and we're at the 27th of April, 2020, 9:25 a.m., and that is Central Time. Stock market up and should not be a real surprise. We have a strong earnings week ahead of us with a lot of the major tech companies coming out with their earnings. We're looking at a number of states in the United States now opening or going into phased opening. So that is a positive for everything. Even New York, parts of it, Upper New York may reopen by mid-month, uh, not New York City from what I'm hearing. Chicago is still locked down to the 31st or so of May. Uh, metal markets. That news is a little bit bearish on them. Dollar definitely getting hit today as a number of foreign currencies try to lift up against them, especially the pound up another 50 points today. As we step over to bonds and notes, well, if it's a risk on day in the stock market, it's a risk off day in the bonds and notes. And actually, at the end of the day, if they were to stay like this, they're starting to roll over to the downside. It gets very interesting on the charts. Another market getting hit today and hit rather hard is the crude oil market. Any supply is too much supply when there's nowhere to put it. If you look at shipping, I'm talking the shipping for oil, the freight uh, rates, they're over the top. And that's because people are leasing those ships and they're just storing the oil. Uh, you've got to get to a point where this oil gets further shut down, worldwide actually, and demand picks up, and that's going to take economies opening. So those are the things we're looking at. The Dallas Fed will report their numbers in just uh, about three, four minutes from now. Treasury Secretary Mnuchin uh, said that we'll see the impact of the turnaround in the third and fourth quarters of this year. Bank of Japan just pulled out more plugs. Now, there isn't a lot they can do. Remember, you're already at negative interest rates and they're buying corporate debt, but they're going to remove the limit on how much corporate bonds and debt that they can buy. And they will maximize their holding to about $186 billion. That's tripling it, just so you know. China, no surprise here, industrial profit off 35% on the first uh, quarters we're looking. Well, that's actually for March. In March, oil imports were up 4.5%, probably go up more than that with these prices. Uh, China's Industrial Commerce Bank said beginning April 28th, and if you're in the futures there, you've got a real problem. They're going to stop, and they're not going to have their commodity futures linked to trading product positions. Uh-oh, investments? Investors there, they've just taken it away. So they're saying, why would anybody ever trade their futures markets? I, I don't get it. China's agriculture ministry also said uh, that China estimates March breeding sows. Uh, the herd grew by 2.8% uh, over the year ago month. And in 28 provinces, March hog herd was up uh, compared to the 26 provinces that registered increases in February. So they're seeing more. They're also seeing more. African swine fever. So they've got their hands full in that, but uh, they're going to get more and more done as they start getting back to normal. So don't count that out. This is the road to getting back to normal for some degree. In the U.S., by the way, one of the things that is going on is OSHA has stepped in now as for the uh, packing plants, and they're requiring that you get tested when you go into a meat packing plant in the U.S. for temperature. Masks have to be given. Social distancing, six feet. So whether or not these companies want to do it, they're going to have to find a new way of making those lines work. I might have to go to my friend's company here because they've been open and see just how that works out. But uh, that'll affect everybody. Remember, we offer a number of different, if you will, booklets on trading. So technical tips from the pros. And these are the contents of what this particular one does. But we have a number of them. And they're in our free offer section on our website. So if you go there, you'll be able to see all the different products that we offer. This is how this all looks. This are from our good friends at Modern Trader. And these are very, very well done, very easy to understand, but full of knowledge. And to me, that's the key. Knowledge is a weapon in the trading of futures. If you don't have it and you're just looking at a board that looks cheap, that looks expensive, well, you're going to join that high percentage of people that don't do well over time. That, that's pretty much a given. All right, so don't go by what your emotion says. Go more by what proven ideas that you can develop are. That, to me, is much more important. How do you get this? Go to our website. You'll see free offers. You can also, at any point, click up here if you're watching me on YouTube. That'll take you right there. I'm I. Rapstein. I'll see you this afternoon in our wrap-ups for the end of the day commodity action. Take care now.